So let's go. Welcome everyone to my macro video. My name is Abdu Two Beastie. We're streaming on Twitch right now. About to go cray cray on the say say with the pay pay. Anyway, this is gonna be a hunter. Why are you stuttering for, man? Macro video from a gladiator hunter. I'm a multi glad, and these are macros that you are gonna need, or you know, most of them you're gonna need to be successful in the arena, and they just make your life much easier. Cause we all know the hunter life ain't easy, baby. But anyway, let's start it up. First, we're gonna start off with my cancel trap launcher macro basically what this what this macro does is it cancels my trap launcher i have a trap launcher macro that basically keeps my trap launcher up even if i reactivate it i don't cancel it manually i rather cancel it with my macro because before i used to have a bad mouse and i still have a bad mouse or a broken mouse so basically it uh would always cancel my trap launcher and it would really really you know screw me over every time so i decided to make a macro and just keep my trap launcher macro with the exclamation mark in it so I, it just never dropped unless I used my cancel or macro and the macro is slash cancel or trap launcher so basically what that does is most of the time when you're facing comps and you're close enough to get trapped because we don't have scatter shot anymore uh, we usually have to concussive shot trap or we have to have a stun like a hodge or a warrior stun in order to get the trap and you know you always got druids running around you know, they always got that blink, the little feral charge, and all that bull crap crap, you know, and then they just run away all day. So basically, this trap launcher, this trap launcher macro, this cancel trap launcher macro is very essential because sometimes you have trap launcher up, you'll slow a target, you'll get to them, and instead of using a trap launcher and, you know, having to use two clicks, you can just cancel your trap launcher and lay the trap down at their feet, which is much more effective because you can't, even when you're silenced, you can still lay the trap down, and um, besides that, it also activates much faster than trap launcher. So it's really good sometimes when you get a concussion to just come use a cancel or a trap, um, trap launcher and just drop the trap down at your feet it's much more effective than using trap launcher and it's much faster when it activates the second second macro here is going to be arcane shot this is my arcane shot macro and all it does is basically an arcane shot and it has my pet attack them all it is is show tool tip pound show tool tip and then it's slash cast arcane shot pet attack man because this pet don't know how to act sometimes it just be hitting whoever want to hit no i'm lying but uh <laughs> it just basically keeps your pet on whatever target you're attacking and being that i'm playing bm that's actually very very important so whenever i arcane shot my pet attacks also and i keep my pet on passive also so i just usually have pet attack in my macros my next macro here is my buy macro. This is just for when I get on a, on a cap and I want to buy some uh, brutal, brutal, brutal knives to sell because I'm on a cap. That's all that is. That's not really important to you at all. My next one is Aspect of the Cheater. This is actually a very, very important uh, macro here. And all it does is it casts Aspect of the Cheater. And if you already have it up and you use Aspect of the Cheater again, it'll, only, it'll just cast it again, and it won't drop Aspect of the Cheater off of you. This is really good because if you do have the minor glyph of Aspect of the Cheater, which you should have, basically this just allows you to um, you know run around like the po run from the popo all day you get 30 percent speed you run around you know you could just dip you know running from the popo popo trying to chase you you gotta be out of there you know come back and even when it's off cooldown if you use it again it's right here it'll just reactivate it instead of letting it drop which you know sometimes can f you over you know and it's really even though it does start to cool down over it is really good my next macro here is my camera shot macro this is the same as the arcane shot macro all it does is basically makes my pet attack but because i'm not using camera shot right now i don't really use this only time I, I have it on my bars is when i'm playing marksmanship so you know i'm not playing marksman right now so it's not really important but my next macro is concussive shot and what this does is this is a, a mouse over and a target macro what this is good for is sometimes even if you're not targeting someone you can still concussive shot them if you just put your mouse over them that's what i really like about this macro and it's the same for my um counter shot macro and this is really good because if you do have a target and you're not targeted and you're running around it'll concussive shot your current target but if you do put put the concussive shot over another target like your mouse over another target it'll just concussive shot that target which is really good. So the mar the the macro is I usually keep sh uh, pound show two tip, and all that does is just show the two tip when you put your mouse over the move, and then I have slash cash um open uh, parentheses at mouse over, 
which basically um, that's the first command just in case you have a mouse over target so it'll hit them first and then uh, comma space exist close uh, parentheses and then it's space concussive shot semicolon space concussive shot and basically that you know that helps you a lot when you are in situations where you may be playing 2v2 or 3v3 and you don't have someone on focus but you need to concussive shot them you can just put your mouse over that target and concussive shot and as you see it'll concussive shot that target but it also send my pet to attack my current target because I'm targeting this dummy here and you know if I don't have a target and I use it it'll concussive shot my current target but if I'm running around and say I need to slow this guy right here and I'm running around I can just concussive shot him while I'm running around because I have my mouse over this target Target, and it'll keep me attacking my current target which is also really good my next macro is my concussive shot for focus and basically this is a show tooltip slash stop casting slash stop casting slash cast at focus concussive shot basically this is if I have target set to focus here and say I'm talking I'm ta attacking this target this is another easy way to concussive shot off targets I just run around like this and I just use my concussive this is also very good for trap you know, I can just use my con focus concussive, come through, you know, get the trap on them, and then, you know, run away. And also just keep a concussive up on my focus target instead of, you know, my current target. And uh, that's actually really good. So I can just, you know, keep concussive in this target, even though I'm not targeting it. So, you know, make sure you make use of those focus uh, macros. My next macro is going to be counter shot. And this is the same as my concussive shot. It's also a mouse over macro. And it's the same format as my concussive shot, and it's the same same idea. Just in case I don't have someone targeted, say I'm in a BG and some I see someone's casting bar, but I don't have them targeted, I don't have them on focus. You see, like I have three targets. Here. I have my current target, I have my focus target, and I have the third target here. Like, say I'm attacking this target, but I don't have this on focus. But I need to kick a cast as cast, and I could just put my mouse over it and counter shot and counter shot it. And if I'm not targeting that target it'll just counter shot my current target which is also really good that uh, macro is the same layout as the concussive so make sure you make use of that so you can just kick people in the booty all day you know they think they're gonna catch kick kick baby and then you know it's just like that the game is over or the BG they can't get the hill and you just kill the fly carrier whatever it may whatever it may be next tar next macro is my concussive for focus it's the same as my concussive shot we just out here got the focus target. We hitting this guy. You know, we in arena right now. This guy's at 20%. He just came out of the trap because he's mad, you know, he's mad and stuff. So he's trying to cast. He doesn't have an aura mastery. He starts to cast. You just kick him, baby. You kick him and then it's GG. You kill shot twice. You may not kill shot because it is an attempted kill shot. But even with that, you know, it's a very, very useful macro to kick your focus target. So make sure you guys have these focus macros. My next my next macro is my deterrence macro. Most people might not know, but this this macro is actually so very good and so very essential. A lot of people probably have this problem where they're getting targeted and they start a cobra shot and they don't have this macro there. So basically, what it does is I'll show you what a regular deterrence will do if you don't have this macro. Let's say you're targeting, right? And you just so happen to be facing a rogue mage. And they're ready to burst the shit out of you, right? And you don't have this macro. This is a regular deterrence now. Say I start a concussive shot. Then boom, I lose like 60% of my health, right? And I'm, I, I, can't, I can't deter until after my cast. That's because I, I don't have a stop casting deterrence macro. Now with this macro, what it do, what it'll do is even if you're in the middle of a cast, say you're here, say you're dismissing your pet, or say you're you know casting them out, or you're you're trying to you know get mount up or whatever whatever it is, and someone starts to attack you, this macro is really good because it'll stop your cast and it'll also use deterrence. So that can come in in handy a lot for a lot of people because sometimes it's, it's happened to me and when I didn't have this macro where I'll just be casting the Cobra shot, Cobra shot and I'll try to deter and I can't and because I don't have a stop casting it'll deter after your cast but sometimes you'll die before that so sometimes it, it, it's just great to have this macro you're in the middle of a cast you just pop, pop your deterrence it'll stop the cast and also deter you my next macro is my disengage macro this also has a stop casting in it because sometimes it I need that deter. I need that disengage instead of deterring because sometimes I won't have to deter 
and I'll be in the middle of a cast, and I, sometimes I really need to disengage right there. I may be facing a melee cleave, and, you know, I'm trying to root both of them, or I'm trying to help my hell out, and I was in the middle of a cast. This is the same thing. You'll just be casting, you just pop, you pop this, and it'll just stop your cast, and it'll disengage you. But if you don't have that macro, what it'll do is the same thing it did with the um, deterrence, and all it'll do is you'll have to wait until you're, and you're done with the cast. You'll just have to wait while the cast is just going, while the cast is just going, while the cast is just going, you'll just have to wait until after the cast, and then you'll deter. I mean, and this you'll disengage. So make sure you do have this stop casting, disengage, disengage macro is pound show tooltip, space disengage, and all that does is just show the tooltip of the move when you have your mouse over it. You don't really need it, but you know, just in case you want to read the tooltip. And it's slash stop casting, slash stop casting, slash cast, disengage. My next macro is an explosive shot macro. This is a macro that I use for my main move, which is explosive. And all it does is also just sends my pet to attack the target. This can be very, very, very great when you're playing survival. And I just like to have a slash pet attack in all of my main moves for each one of my specs, whether it's marksman with chimera shot, uh, survival with explosive shot, or BM with kill command. It's just very great to keep your target on, um, keep your pet on the target you're currently attacking. Because you do want to usually keep your pet on passive so your pet so you have total pet control so this is always good and then my next macro is my explosive shot macro this is also a good one because I use glyph of explosive trap sometimes I really need to get an explosive trap whether it's for a knock whether it's to stop a link whether it's to do anything like that you know whether it's to you know just uh, knock targets off of me when I'm trying to kite them away say I'm facing a double melee and it's really good for that that because it's just, it works just like the disengage and the deterrence work sometimes you know you just need to knock that trap you need that knock trap man you can't be casting there you all up in their face you know you're over there casting and they about to kill you oh shit i need my damn i need to knock i need to knock oh i can't knock i can't oh, knock oh Oh, oh, I need a knock, I need a knock. Oh, stop the knock. Oh, knock them back. You know, it stops the cast, knocks them back. They're like, what the heck just happened? That hunter is a beast. Oh, yes, he is. And he just knocked your booty back. So stop it, baby. There we go. That is the, my explosive chop macro. It's, it's just a stop casting macro to stop my cast, just in case I'm using any other cast that I have to use during arena. It'll stop the cast, drop my explosive trap, and, and it, it activates instantly when I drop it at my feet. So that's actually really good. My next one is my stop casting, my stop casting feign death. Sometimes I'm in uh, facing a warlock, and you know, as you're going against a warlock, you see him, right? You're like, oh man, he's Destro, man. He ain't gonna do shit. Oh shit! I just got mortal coil. It's a chaos bolt. I'm casting the cobra shot. Oh, I need a feign death to cast. Then it's just like, boom, you feign then they feign death to cast. You know, you're casting the cobra shot while he casting the chaos bolt with his um cooldowns up and before you get one shot it you just feign death his cast and then you start casting the cobra shot right after let's go baby so that's actually really good sometimes because you can be in the middle of a cast and need to feign death a cast so you don't die you may not have any deters up you know so that's actually very very good make sure you have that macro this macro is a stop casting freezing freezing trap macro this is the same thing as my explosive trap sometimes i need to get that trap and i'm casting a cobra shot because i need to pull up that you know focus but i need to cancel that cast so i can get a full trap full trap you know and uh you know it may be my my red paladin hodges or my warrior stone bolts and i'm on top of them and it's like one second left and i'm in a cast and i just need to get the trap down so i just use that macro so it's basically just a show tool pound show tool tip freezing trap slash stop casting slash stop casting slash cast freezing trap so you know it's, it's actually really really great um and make sure you have that macro because it can come in handy those stop casting macros for your freezing trap and feign death explosive disengage and deterrence are very 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 important so make sure you have those this next macro is for my pet when i'm playing beast beast mastery and i do have a spirit beast just like uh let me can't let me dismiss this pet and call a spirit beast you know when we have a spirit beast out and we do get the extra move of spirit man which is a hill sometimes i need a spirit man someone else instead of myself you know or i need a spirit man my pet it's a very good move and it heals for quite a bit so uh this is a macro to use it on myself uh, i also have a macro for my um for one of my partners just in case i'm playing twos and i need a heal for my partner you know, I have this macro here, which is pound show tooltip slash cast at Abdu. Um, 
spirit man it's in it's in parentheses and then you know a spirit man exotic ability i don't have to have all of that in but basically the way it works is i just you know i just heal myself there just like that i just use it and it tosses the heal man to myself because if you have it on auto it'll only use it when you're under 20 when you get to 20 percent health but sometimes you want to use it early so before you get it to 20 percent health you'll have it back up and then you use it again my next macro is health stone this is basically if i'm playing with a lock i haven't played with a lock forever but this is just a slash cast hellstone macro just in case i do play up with a lock i can just keep this macro in my bar so i don't have to continuously put hellstones in my bar over and over every arena i just put the drag the macro down and then when i get a help uh hellstone boom you know i have it in my bars already i'll have it keep binded already and i don't have to continuously put it in my bars over and over again my next macro is my kill command macro. This is the same thing as my explosive trap and my chimera shot. It's just a slash pet attack macro for my kill command and it's slash kill command also. It also has slash use dash. Um, just in case I haven't used dash on my pet, that's just to keep the pet on the booty because I'm playing BM so you know the pet got to be out there biting. Rawr, rawr, you know, the pet, the pet got to be going crazy. So we, does, we do keep a slash pet attack in this macro slash cast kill command slash use bite. And then slash use dash to keep my pet on the target. All right. The next macro is my kill shot macro. And what this macro is, is very, 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 very great. This is my kill shot macro. I really like this macro because it's also my cancel bop and my cancel deterrence macro, which is really good. You know, sometimes even, even if I don't have kill shot active, I keep my slash cancel aura deterrence and slash cancel aura hand of protection, which is bop um, from paladins. The reason why I keep that in there is sometimes I do get bopped and I don't need to keep the bop up. Or sometimes I'm facing the mage and I get bopped and I don't want the mage to spell steal it. And because I got bopped out of a stun or something like that, I'll just cancel aura the bop. And basically how this works is when I don't have a kill shot, I'll deter. And I say I deter, and I, and this guy's low, or I need to get out of the turn. I can just use the macro, and it'll cancel my deterrence. Instead of keeping my deterrence up for the full six seconds, it'll just cancel it. Same, it'll work the same way for bop. Say I have a bop, it's eight seconds, and I'm just chilling here, and then it's a bop on me, and then the maze gets low. I'm like, oh my god, attempted kill shot, Tom. I might not kill him, but let me try. I can just use my kill shot, and it'll cancel um the aura. The mage won't be able to spell seal it, and it'll cancel my aura. It'll cancel my deterrent, and the mage won't be able to uh, live. You know, and he might be low enough under 20% or it's a rogue or it's a warrior or a DK or whatever target it is. It'll cancel my deterrence and I can also get a kill shot. So these can come very, very handy because sometimes you deter and you have a Shami that uses his, uh, you know, his cooldowns and then NSs you to full health when you add 20% just now. He heals you for 80%. You know, you're like, oh my God, I can get out of this deterrence, baby. So you just cancel it, go cray cray on the safe site. You know how that go. Uh, but this macro is pound show tool tip kill shot slash stop casting slash stop casting slash cancel aura deterrence slash cancel aura hand of protection slash cast kill shot slash pet attack and all of this is just great man this is just great it's also very good for when i'm in the middle of a cobra shot and i need a kill shot it'll just cancel my cobra shot and use the kill shot right then and there my next macro is my one shot or my all, all my cooldowns i have my my own use trinket in my 13th slot so that's why I don't have slash use trinket. You can also, another way to make this macro is also to use slash, I can also put slash use and then I can just shift click this into the macro. But I just I just make it slash use 13 because that's easier because I usually always have my own use in this slot. So make sure you have your own use in this slot. If you don't, I think it's slash use 14 for this slot. But I just have slash use 13. I put my own use in this track, uh, um, in this macro. And this has all of my cooldowns that I have with every spec. So it's pound show tooltip. And I have it, I have my, I have my trinket first because that's the most important cooldown. It usually is the most, it's the most damage. So I have slash use 13, which is my trinket slot, which I have in the 13th slot right here. My own use. And then I have slash cast beast your wrath. That's just in case I'm playing beast mastery. And then I have slash cast rapid fire just in case I'm playing marksmanship. But I'm never playing marksmanship. Uh, and then I also have slash cast a murder of crows slash pet attack. This is all very great 
for you know anything and it also keeps the pet attacking your target which is very important also whether you're playing any spec because that's any that's the any damage is important as a hunter any type of damage is important so your pet damage is also important and it uses all of those cooldowns so you know say i get a full trap he don't got no cooldown you know i get the concussive on this guy you know get the full trap fade death pop coolies going ahead going ahead you know full trap full trap lingy, full trap full trap so we go ham on this guy you know just pop cooldowns and uh, we go cray cray, you know, and it pops my beast your wrath, my murder of crows, my trinket all at once, which is so very good. It, you know, it's just it's just so much time you don't have to waste using mashing every button at once. And these are my arena target kicks here. This is my uh, my counter shot on arena target one, and it's basically just slash stop casting slash stop casting slash cast parentheses at arena one. Parent close parentheses counter shot uh, counter shot and basically this is when I'm in arena and I have arena targets one two and three uh, I can kick them without uh, targeting them just by using those macros and they're all the same just one is arena one the next one is arena two the third one is arena three and these are all just very good for kicks sometimes when you don't have targets on your focus you can just use these kicks to get the kicks like on a poly or a cyclone when you don't have them targeted directly or a chaos ball anything like that my next macro is my slash cast steady shot macro and my pet attack this is the same as all my moves i just keep pet attack in it so i keep my target my pet on my current target what this does is it just casts a steady shot or if you're not marksmanship and your survival or BM it'll use Cobra shot it'll change to Cobra shot but uh, it's basically slash um, pound show tooltip slash cast steady shot slash pet attack and that's all it is man that's all it is next one is my focus counter shot and this basically just counter shots my focus target whenever I do play twos or threes I usually have a focus target which is you know 90% of the time a healer in case we go and uh, just in case we go my uh, mongo and my focus is right here even though I should probably bring it down a little bit let me move this frame unlock frame and move it down a bit all right all right basically what it does is it kicks the target your focus target instead of your main target so say I'm targeting this guy it works just like the uh, focus concussive I can just kick this guy while I'm hitting this guy so make sure you make use of those focus targets and those focus tar focus target macros guys my next one is my slash focus trank this works just like my focus kick just in case I'm targeting this target and I have this target on focus I can just trank shot this target with my focus trank while I'm hitting this guy and it's actually very very good uh, macro so I just put slash stop casting slash stop casting slash cast parentheses at focus close parentheses space tranquilizing shot and this can be replaced with any shot whether it's uh, concussive you know counter shot and it, it'll be a macro for those those are all very similar this is a mouse over trank shot works the same as my concussive shot sometimes you need to get those buffs sometimes people could just got too many buffs man they're playing with a paladin you know a mage and a, and a and a and a lock got a million buffs out the ass you know got the stamina buff the intellect the kings you trying to get all of that probably trying to bop you need to get that trank off you know and what this does is it tranks the t current target if you do have a target and uh, if you have a, a mouse over target, like if you have your mouse over this target, it'll tranquilize and shot that target instead of your main. So this is also very good for BGs or arenas in general. Most of these moves I have as mouse over or regular because, you know, usually most of the time I don't have mouse over target. But say I'm hitting this guy and I see this guy use a bop and he only has one buff up, I'll just go for the train shot on him, you know. And just like that, he don't got the bomb no more. Come over here, get the full trap, go hang, you know. Pop the coolies again. Go cray cray on the say say, you know. Use the barrage and just go cray cray. All right. And that, and that's how we usually do it there. My next my next macro is going to be my trap launcher macro. And this is what I was telling you about earlier. All this is is just a trap launcher macro that just in case I mash this button by mistake while, you know, I'm in tunnel mode, just mongo in you know face rolling on my keyboard this is very good just to keep my trap launcher up whenever I don't want to deactivate it and then I use uh, it's basically pound show tool tip slash stop cast and slash stop cast and slash cast exclamation mark trap launcher and what that does is just in case even if you have the trap launcher up it'll use it again as you see here it'll just keep reactivating trap launcher now if you have regular trap launcher which uh I'm not. I don't know. I don't really. That I, I, that my playstyle just never really fit that. It, it'll it'll cancel it if you use it again, and then if you use it again, it'll reactivate it. But with this macro, it'll just keep reactivating it and never cancel it. That's why I have a slash cancel trap launcher macro. My next one is for the CC Zewevin Sting. Zewevin Sting. 
So basically what this is, is this is a women's thing and it's also mouse over just in case I don't want to target, uh, just in case I don't want to CC this target and I don't want to CC my focus target and I want to CC this guy here. If I'm playing threes, I can just put it over there, Gladius bar, and it'll it'll women to sting my target, uh, my current target. And I also have exclamation mark so it doesn't start the cast over if I'm mashing it. You know, if I'm like mashing it and I don't want it to restart the cast, like if I have a regular women sting, I just go ahead. I just put the exclamation mark before the women sting in the macro. That what that does is it just keeps the cat cast going even if you mash it. So here we go. We'll just like have our current target, our focus target, and our target right here and then we'll just mouse over women sting that guy while we're hitting this guy you know this guy's women stung we trapped this guy we got you know double cc and those two going cray cray and we pop cooldowns you know again get the barrage but you know the barrage go cray cray baby um so that's how we do that um and it's basically pound show two tip slash stop casting slash stop casting slash cast parentheses at mouse over comma space exist close parentheses space Exclamation mark, women sting, semicolon space, exclamation mark, women sting. And what that does is, you know, it puts these guys to sleep. You know, sometimes people, they've been awakened, you know, they've been drinking Red Bull all day, don't want to go to sleep and don't shut up. So you just women sting the booty, baby, and they be out. All right. My next macro is my focus women sting. This also has slash stop casting in it, just in case I really need to get that women's thing off while I'm casting Cobra Shot. And basically, it's a pound show tool tip slash stop casting slash stop casting slash cast parentheses at focus close parentheses face exclamation mark women's thing. And that also works the same way. This is my focus right here. I need to put him to sleep because he was talking too much. He need to go to sleep. Don't want to sleep. Just been up talking. Keep me up. I got a test tomorrow, you know. So we hitting this target and we just start mashing it. Now, if you if you guys see, I have a regular, I have the regular women's thing for this. So basically, we just, you know, we just press it and then I can cancel it. It just, it'll women's thing this target while we hit this guy. And then we just go cray cray, you know. It's also very good for CC on your focus target, whether you're playing again twos, whether you're playing threes, whatever you're playing. This is also always very good. Now to my personal macros, which is basically just going to be macros for my partners and some for me. These make your life so much easier. I remember when I was a noob back in the day, right? And when I had, when I wanted to freedom my, my partner, I would this is what I would do I would I, when I wanted to freedom my target my partner right I would have like my regular and I would have to click him like hold on man hold on I'll got you I'm gonna freedom you and then I would just have to like freedom manually you know give him freedom and then I would have to click back to my target then put my pet back and then probably miss a trap you know like all the way over here you know or drop it at my feet and it would just be all bad so these targets are these macros are very very important and they are lifesavers make sure you have these macros and I feel every hunter needs these macros and basically it's gonna be my freedom macros for my my first and my second partner so usually I'm playing threes right these macros are very very important because you wanna you wanna be able to have the most uptime you can have on your partner when you're doing damage as hunters damage is our number one asset that's our number one asset. Our CC is not because we have trap. It's not. It's a great CC, but it's not the best. So our number one asset is damage. So we want to have a, as much uptime as we can. So these macros allow you to be able to just match one button, and it'll just free them the target that you or that you want, or it'll use raw sacrifice, which makes your partner uncritable, you know, for 12 seconds. So basically, the freedom macro is uh, pound show tooltip slash stop casting slash stop casting slash cast open parentheses. At Savs DP, which was the hill that I was playing with, my boy Savs, you know what I'm saying? And then uh, close parentheses, space, master's call, all right? All right, we're going to go through Phil Thorough. Damn, we got to go through a lot of people here, man. This is this is not it's not all that, man. Phil the Rush. Okay, Phil the Rush. I feel the rush. All right, I feel the rush. Okay, nice. Feel the rush? Yeah, I feel it. Do you guys feel it? I feel it. Feel the rush. Okay, here we go. So now, when we use, say we're not targeting, we can just use Shift F. Okay. Or is it all? Uh, okay. My macro just doesn't want to work right now. I think he has to be in my group, um, which kind of sucks. Let's go ahead and invite him. Let's see if he'll accept. Accept it, man. Accept it. You know you want to, man. Here we go. So now, we can just freedom him. 
You see? And without targeting him, and it puts my freedom on him, when we exit it, I could also use my Royal Sacrifice on him without targeting him. As you see, he has Royal Sacrifice, and I don't have to target for or target him. All he does is call for it, and then I, all, I just use the macros, and I forgot they have to be in group. They changed that. So um, there you go, guys. That was actually, you know, very, very simple. So make sure you have two of those when you're playing threes. One for your uh, healer, one for your DPS or whatever comp you're playing, or two for your DPS when you're playing. You know, you're play most likely playing Hunter if you're watching this. So one for your healer, one for your DPS that's playing with you and one sack macro for your healer one for your dps that's playing with you and these are very great um, my next macro is my freedom macro this is a mouse over one uh, basically this will freedom the mouse over target if I do have a mouse over target if I don't it'll freedom me so say I'm over here and I need to freedom this guy like I'm in the BG and he's running the flag and he's slowed I can just freedom him by having a mouse over him without targeting him or um, you know if I don't want to freedom him I can just have no target and then just freedom myself by mashing it and basically this macro is uh, uh, pound show tooltip slash stop casting slash stop casting slash cast parentheses at mouse over close parentheses space masters call and then it's slash cast parentheses at abdu close parentheses space masters call this is another way you can make mouse over macros if you the other way that you know I had it with my other uh, macros like my say my um, counter shot macro which is right here this is a one way to do a mouse over macro, and this is another way to do it here with my freedom macro here. There's two ways you can do it. You can do it this way or the other way. One is simpler than the other, but, I mean, you can do it either way, and they both work the same. My next macro is my heal macro for myself. Usually, I have this pet when I'm playing in um, twos. I don't usually use it in threes that much, but it's just basically pound show tooltip slash cast at Abdu to Beastie Spirit Man, and all that does is just heal me. My next macro is for my pet, just in case. I'm playing with my playing with the healer or whatever, and I need to heal them. It'll just be slash cast at you know whatever heal I'm playing with. Close parentheses space spirit man. This is my royal sacrifice macro, and basically just uh, this is just to royal sacrifice myself. It's uh, pound show two tip slash cast at Abdu royal sacrifice, and that's just basically the royal sacrifice myself, which just you know makes me uncritical for 12 seconds. And those are my macros. Now these macros are very very good and they all come in handy in some way shape or form so make sure you do have those macros in your arsenal to be successful as a hunter. Alright, moving along.